During the 70s, I really loved Happy Days. It was one of my favorite TV shows. You know, the 50s were only 20 years removed back then from what was present day. But to me, life with the Cunningham family seemed like a completely different world. And then there was this little feller, Raymond Spike Fonzarelli. Fonzie's younger cousin is played by actor Danny Butch. During seasons two, three, and four, Spike would show up to liven things up a bit. And then, like Chuck Cunningham before him, he was gone. More on that in just a moment, but first let me introduce myself. Hi folks, my name is Dave Sundstrom, and I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian, especially when it comes to music, movies, and television. Simply put, I love talking about this stuff. So with that said, let's get rolling. I think this TV Guide ad for the very first episode of Happy Days said it best. The 50s were filled with innocence and the promise of even better days to come. I think many folks looking back at the 70s and 80s feel the same way that a previous generation viewed the 50s. Sure, there was stuff going on, some of it good and some of it bad, but things just felt simpler. Maybe it's just a trick, a mental illusion that the mind plays, but I know I'm not the only one who feels nostalgic for the past. Anyway, before we get to Spike, let's talk about Fonzie for just a moment. I really idolized the Fonz. For the first few seasons, I thought he was just about as cool as you could get. The whole jukebox thing, so very cool. And I totally get why all the ladies went gaga for the man. Henry Winkler knew how to play cool on television. And like I said earlier, beginning in season two, we got a pint-sized version of Fonzie. His name was Spike, and he idolized his uncle Fonz and tried to be just like him. Well, as much as he could anyway. The lack of a driver's license meant that he was riding something decidedly less cool than Fonzie's motorcycle. But you can't fault him for trying. And he wasn't shy with the ladies either. I think it was during his first appearance on Happy Days where Spike made the decision to start dating an older woman. Yep, I'm talking about 13-year-old Joni Cunningham. Speaking of Joni Cunningham, I've put together an entire video on the roller coaster ride that was Aaron Moran's life. I'll post a link to it at the end of this video if you're interested in watching. You know, a lot of folks think that Charchiacola and Spike are the same character, but they're definitely not. There are some similarities, however. One, they were both related to Fonzie, and two, they both had eyes for Joni. But unfortunately for Spike, that's about where the similarities end. You see, while Chachi became a beloved character on the show, Spike never really seemed to become an audience favorite. I have a theory about that. I don't think audiences really needed or wanted a miniature version of the Fonz. And that's why, end of the day, Chachi would be the character that got the girl. One of these days, I'll put together another video on the Happy Days spin-off Joni Loves Chachi. But for the moment, let me just say that I liked it a lot more than most folks, and I really think that if the network had demonstrated just a little bit more faith in the show, it could have gone on for much longer than two seasons. So, what in the world did happen to the character and the actor who played him, Danny Butch? Well, sadly, the answer to the first question is that I don't ever remember hearing Spike's name mentioned again on the show. Yep, it was just like Chuck Cunningham all over again. Gone and forgotten. That's the way the folks at Happy Days worked. Anyway, regarding the actor Danny Butch... After Happy Days, Danny found work on shows like Big John, Little John, and Brett Maverick. According to IMDb, his final on-screen appearance was in the 1981 Luciano Pavarotti flick, Yes, Giorgio. After that, it would seem that Danny decided to step away from the limelight. Now, there are not many pictures of a grown-up Danny available on the internet. And truthfully, while I think that this is the man who once was Raymond Spike Fonzarelli, all grown up. I am not 100% certain. There's a Happy Days fan site out there that has a photo of another completely different person up. But that individual stepped forward and said, hey, I'm not Spike. You know, there's a part of me that really respects Danny's desire to turn away from the bright lights of the entertainment industry. And as appealing as the world of show business is, I suspect that he is every bit as happy or perhaps even happier than he would have been if he'd continued acting. But that's just my two cents. Did you miss Spike when he disappeared from Happy Days? You know, besides Spike and Chuck, there were those Tuscadero sisters that just kind of disappeared as well. 
That definitely feels like a topic for another day. Anyway, now it's your turn. Let me know what you think in the comment section and while you're at it. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up and subscribe buttons. That's how I'll know if I should make more videos like this one. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.